Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from snorkel.tv. Welcome back. Cell phones off, please. Thank you. All right, today we're going to be talking about building a variable transparency mask in Flash. Um, if we take a look at this demo that's running here, you'll notice that we have a black and white photo, and the car has this really cool effect where the blue color is just being revealed with a very nice soft bleed from uh, blue to gray, just going across from left to right. We're actually doing a double mask whammy here. Um, hopefully you have a little bit of experience of how masking works on the main timeline. If not, just do a search of my site for masking and uh, you'll come up with a tutorial. Um, but here we're going to be using two types of masking. The masking that's built into Flash on the timeline and also a little bit of action script based masking. But don't be scared, the action script is really, really simple. All right, so you've seen this thing play. Um, I'm gonna go fast through this one, so please put your focus hats on. Let's close that Swift and go into my start file. And here I have my FLA set up with just some layers, so you don't have to watch me build those. And I have some symbols in the library already. Um, didn't want that to happen. <sighs> nice, sorry. Open up properties. Oh, expand you, thank you. Sorry, folks. And here we have a bitmap image of the car. We have a movie clip called Car Black and White, which will eventually be a black and white version of the car, a color version of the car, and this shape that I've pre-drawn of an outline of the car. So here, let's start out by in the color layer, I'm gonna take the car color MC, place it on the stage. Command K is gonna get me my align panel. and We'll just smash this sucker to the top left edge of the stage. And this here is a movie clip, and inside that movie clip is my bitmap, okay? So it's just a movie clip that contains a bitmap image. I'm gonna give this movie clip the instance name of color MC. That'll come in handy later. And let's talk a little bit about masking. A mask allows us to draw a shape that will reveal objects beneath it. So here we have color MC, and in the mask layer, I'm going to zoom out a touch and I'm going to use my rectangle tool to just draw a very basic shape. All right, I'll use my rectangle tool. We'll use the solid color like this bright green. And I'm going to just draw a rectangle a little bit larger than the stage. Okay, I'm going to take this rectangle that I drew and I'm going to convert it to a symbol. So let's just hit F8 and I'm going to call this symbol mask, or I'll call it gradient mask, okay? Okay. And now I'm gonna just slide this guy over just a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna tell this layer here to act as a mask. So I'm just gonna right click on that layer name and select mask. And what happens now is that wherever that rectangle overlaps the colored car, you'll see that it is revealed. Wherever, where the uh, rectangle ends, all we see is the stage. So if I move this rectangle down here, we're only going to be revealing the car underneath the rectangle. So there you go, we see half of the car. Now, if I wanted to do a variable transparency mask, maybe I don't wanna have this really abrupt hard edge. I wanna have the car sort of fade out. Well, we can do that, but not with a timeline layer mask. So let's go into this clip here, and I'm just going to go to the color panel, and I'm going to make this a gradient now. So let's go choose a linear gradient, and I'm gonna set both colors to be black. It doesn't matter what color I use, but you'll see that they're both black at 100%, not much of a gradient. Um, we'll put another black chip in right here, and we'll just set this chip's alpha down to zero. All right, so now you can see that we go from 100% black down to no black whatsoever. You see a little bit of a fade here. Well, adding this alpha fade to the mask clip has no effect really. You can see now that there's a soft edge here, but if I turn masking back on, as far as flash is concerned, it's either on or it's off as far as the pixels are concerned. Either you see them or you don't. There's no in between. So even though my mask is made up with a gradient, Flash doesn't care. So let's show you how we're gonna get around this. I'm gonna turn off masking on this layer. I'm going to make sure that we have color MC 
as the movie clip name, and this guy here, I'm going to call um, Mask MC. All right. Now, a little bit of action script is going to allow us to have a feathered soft edge mask. In my actions layer, we're just going to open up the actions panel. Let's bring it over here. And I'm going to set both movie clips to have their cache as bitmap property equal to true. All right. I'm going to tell the mask MC that cache as bitmap equals true as well. And this just tells Flash that, hey, these things are definitely bitmaps. And once they're bitmaps, the masking can work the way we want. I'm then going to tell the color MC that the mask that it should use should be the mask MC, which is our gradient. Now, on the timeline, things don't look any differently. But when I test my Swift out, there you go. You'll see the car sort of fades out. So where it's 100% black in the mask, we see 100% of the car at full alpha. But as that amount of black, its alpha decreases, you'll see that the car appears to be fading out. So this is actually pretty cool. I'm going to go into my timeline and slide this guy over here, test again, and then you'll see we only see a little bit of the car because that gradient is now revealing just partial bits of that image. Now, in my final version of this, we're going to want to have a tween happening here. So let's just go out to frame 50. I'm going to do a slow tween here so that we can actually see it happening. All right. And in the mask layer, let's just put a keyframe real quick, F6. And we're going to slide this guy all the way over to here. OK. Create our classic tween. And let's test our movie. And now you can see that as that mask slides, it has that nice blurred fuzzy edge on the end. It's not that hard straight line. So now you'll notice that wherever the mask isn't, we're seeing the white background of the movie. Well, let's turn off both these layers here. And I'm going to take my car black and white movie clip out of the library. And we'll place it on the stage in the black and white layer. And we'll also go to the Align panel and make sure it's perfectly to the top and to the left. All right, so follow me here. This movie clip in the black and white layer is now going to have a color adjust property on it, adjust color filter, I'm sorry, and it's going to be desaturated. So here's the way this is going to work now. Wherever the mask isn't, we're going to see black and white. All right, so now the entire image is being revealed um, from grayscale to full color. And you can see it all just bleeding through, and it's really nice and subtle. Now, I was going to stop the tutorial right here. I was going to say, this effect is awesome, and it's all people need to know. But you know what? We don't do things like that here. We're going to push this to the next level. And what I want to do is not have the bridge turn red and the ground turn brown. I just want the body of the car to be blue. And so here's where some more ma magic happens. And what I keep telling people about Flash is that I just love the way you can take very simple concepts and then combine them together and get something that's totally awesome. So let's close this Swift out. And what I'm going to do is this. When this gradient moves across the stage, I don't want it to affect the bridge or the sand here that we have on the ground. I only want it to affect the body of the car. So I'm going to go into the color movie clip, double click on it, and here's the bitmap of the color image. I'm going to add another layer, and I'm going to go to my library, and I have the symbol here called detail mask. Now, I took a few minutes to draw this outline of the car as a vector using the pen tool. Um, it would take way too long to do that in a video. Um, I do have a tutorial on using the pen tool, how to draw an umbrella with the pen tool. Very basic, but uh, the pen tool is one of these beasts that you just really need to start slow with it, and then you'll get the hang of it. Now, my mask shape is a little bit rough here, but it's OK. Um, it doesn't matter because a lot of the edges are hidden in the black of the tires and some other stuff. So it's going to look really good, even though I did a pretty quick and scrappy job here. Let me just align it the best I can. All right. And now this layer here, 
the shape that I just put on the stage, this movie clip, I'm going to tell it to be a mask. So now, the color movie clip, you'll see what's happening, right? We're only revealing the colored outline of the car. If I go to scene one now, check this out. There it is. Our gradient that's moving across the stage is only revealing the colored cutout of the car because the car, the colored car image is itself being masked by that shape that I just added. So now this is really, really cool. In fact, people in the industry would call this a hot effect. So when people see this, you say, this is hot. And they'll be like, yes, you're right. So there we go. We just have the car now having a color effect. All right, folks, I'm gonna wrap it up. I will provide these files for download. Um, but again, I hope this excites you. Uh, your homework for this week is to do this exact same thing with another image of a car. I'll see you soon.